Could everyone from Malawi just stand? I want to talk to Malawi. I need you. And my wife is special. <laughs> You'll come back. There'll be people with you. 
And this is what uh, Jacob said. He said in the book in Genesis 32 verse 10. He said to God, I'm not worthy of the least of your grace. And all of your truth. I left here and crossed the Luangwa River with just my staff. And now I've come back with two bands. Amen? Amen. I've lost my, we've lost our life. I, I was reading the banner and thinking about it. By grace, it's all Him. It's all the character of God. It's all of God's nature. We can't even bring one of our own things. And by faith, it's all, it's all in. I lose my life. That's what faith is. Not my will, but your will be done. Not my nature, God, but your nature. It's your grace. It's all your grace. Like Pastor Victor said, so many people are looking for different ways to access God. And God said, it's my grace. That's it. It's not of ourselves. It's not of works. Not of anything we can do. And we just say we lose our life. Say, God, my life is so small. God, I give you my life. And uh, in Exodus chapter 33 and verse 15 and 16, Moses, Moses said, God, I beseech you, show me your glory. How many people we've been talking about this in Malawi? All the Achimwenes from Malawi. <laughs> We've been talking about this. So many people want to see the glory of God. Come and see prophet, bishop, reverend, so and so. Come, like, get your miracle. You know, they're preaching like that. I want to see the glory of God. Come to this crusade. 10,000 people coming. <laughs> Pastor Ronaldo saw it. Next to where we have our church, there's a banner. Come get your miracle. But I'm telling you, other people are dying in It's like what people are searching for. They're searching for Funafuna. What they think is the glory of God. And Moses says to God, God, I want to see your glory. And God says to him in the next chapter, 34 and verse 5, I'm going to show you my name. I'm going to show you my character. I, I can show you my glory. But you couldn't live. It would never take you forward. You could never even have the capacity to bear it. And you can never grow as a person. But if I show you my name, if I show you my grace, you'll be built up. You'll be encouraged. You'll have strength. And you'll say, not my life, but your life, God. You'll say, my grace is sufficient for me. Your grace is sufficient for me, God. And we say, God, I want to see your name. I want to know your character. I want to see your grace. Teach me about it. Isn't that why we're here? Can I get an amen out there? Amen. We want to see the name of God. We want to know the character of God. That's how we will grow. That's how we go forward. And in closing, uh, we see Jacob in his life. And early in his life, in Genesis chapter 27, in verse 16, he, he, he had that dream of the, the ladder of God. In 
God standing at the top of the ladder. And God gives him a fivefold promise. He says, Jacob, even though you're leaving, even though you're backsliding, you're going away from the promised land. He says, I won't leave you. I won't leave you. It's my grace. As we heard this morning, it's not earned. It's just given freely. I'm going to give it to you. I'll keep you where you go. And I'll bring you back. And he says in verse 16, that God was in this place. And I do it not. So many people, they're looking in so many places for God. And God's grace is there. But they don't know it. It's because it's their own life still. You know, they think, you know, the path is very narrow. It's a straight and narrow. Have you ever heard that? Yeah, the Christian life is hard. It's a straight and narrow. You've got to walk the straight and narrow. And they think, yeah, the Christian life, it's difficult. But that means that it's only grace. The way is narrow because it only can take the grace of God. It can only be God's grace. It's all Him. By grace, it's all Him. It can only be Him. You can't add your own good works to get to God. It can only receive Christ Himself and what Christ has done. It's only Him. That's what makes it straight and narrow. It can't take anything from us. And so he says in Genesis 27 20, he says, God, if you'll keep me, if you'll protect me, if you give me Sima, in Malawi they don't say Shima, they say Sima. But it's still there. And there, they don't have Chihuahua, they have Kwani. I said, thank God. God has a provision. And so Jacob said, God, if you give me Sima, if you give me a Chitani, then I will, you will be my God. He didn't understand the character of God yet. But later on, as he grew with God, he said, he said to God, when he wrestled with the angel, he said, I want to know your name. God, tell me your name. Genesis 32, 29. He learned something. Through his, as he grew with God, he learned what the issue was. It wasn't the glory, it wasn't the miracle, it wasn't the healing. He said, God, I want to know who you are. I want to know your name. I want to know your character. I want to know your grace. And when we know that, we say, God, it's a privilege to lay down this small life and, and just receive from you all that you have to give us. And at the end of his life, as Jacob was in Egypt, and in, in Genesis 48, 11, he saw his son Joseph, and he said, who are these with you, Joseph? And, and he said, these are my children. And Jacob said, I never thought I would see your face. But now I've seen your seed. It's like if it was just us in our little life, and it's not the grace of God, we would just see maybe the face of one person. But if it's by grace, we'll say, wow, we've we'll seen the seed of God. Now we've seen the children. And we can see in the future, we see the vision. The next Zamphi, we'll see the children, we'll see our brothers and sisters from Zimbabwe. Amen. And then we'll see our brothers and sisters from Mozambique. And we have people from DRC. And it's because of his grace. And we say, God, our little life was not important. But your life, your grace. And we'll see your seed. We'll see your people. Let's pray. Wow. Thank you.
Thank you, God. Come on, what? Thank you, God, for this church. Come on, that's going to be more. There's one body. Okay, Mosey. It's your body. And we're here by your grace. And by faith we say, here is our little one. I just take it and use it. Maybe you're here. Uh, maybe you're a visitor. Or a guest. Never received God's grace. Never received the life of God. Your life, just in itself, as we heard so clearly today, it's not enough. It's God's life. It's God's grace. Would you let him love you? He died for you. We celebrated it this weekend. Would you receive him? And receive his life. He loves you. If you have never asked Jesus Christ to be your personal Savior, say, Lord Jesus, save me. I want your life, God. I want your grace. Save me. And nobody's looking. It's the first time you prayed that prayer to receive Christ. Just put up your hand and just put it back down. You want Christ as your Savior. Receive His grace. It's all Him. Thank you, Lord. Bless Malawi in the football match. In Jesus' name.